become a National Honor Society member, students must demonstrate good qualities in their everyday life. In addition to demonstrating these qualities, you also have to maintain above a 3.5 GPA and also volunteer in your community. What's unique about NHS is that you're not just, you can't just walk in. It's, you're given an invitation to join, become a member, and it is your responsibility to fill out that application, get the recommendations, and even past that, you're, you're not automatically accepted. You have to, like I said before, you have to get um, approved by a committee of teachers. All of our members strive to push past the average students. It motivates them to be the best person they can be. Members of National Honor Society demonstrate four pillars, leadership, character, service, and scholarship. I feel like I have the ability to adapt to anything around me. Um, you can put me in a situation where it'll be completely out of my element, but for some reason I just have the ability to just go in there and take it by, by the storm and just just roll with it. A leader is necessary. Um, I like to believe that I can, I can really take a hold of a situation when it's necessary and lead people in the right direction. I've tried very hard to become involved in sports, many extracurricular clubs, um, doing community service hours, and I have to, you know, juggle getting a pass the 3.5 GPA in order to stay in NHS. The future projects of National Honor Society, um, we have several coming up. The first of which is a clothing drive that we're going to start post Christmas break. We're going to set up boxes around the school and be collecting clothing that we will then take to orphanages of um, underprivileged children. We are Humphreys High School National Honor Society, and you're watching YCTV.